Hi everyone, I'm Judy and I'm an occupational therapist and I just graduated back in December of 2016 and I now work in a hand clinic and it's not my first job, it's about my third occupational therapy job but still getting into hand therapy is hard and I found that with all the books out there and all the resources they tend to throw a lot of anatomy at you rather than the basics. So I like to learn by teaching. And so I'm going to be making these videos to kind of help other occupational therapists or people that are just interested in hand therapy so you can kind of get a better understanding of what's going on in our hands. So the first concept that I'd like to teach, aside from anatomy, is tendon excursion. So tendons are what connect the muscle to the bone. So here, let's draw. Oops. Let's draw your muscle right there. And let's draw your bone right there. So there's a part that connects your muscles to the bone. And it's right here. That's the tendon. So excursion is about, if you've taken physics, how far something goes, the distance between one point to another point. And so tendons aren't something that are static. They move. They actually, they don't have a lot of movement, but they can get tight, they can stretch, and they can glide, such as gliding through our fingers and allowing us to have active range of motion in our fingers. Because really, we don't have any muscles in our fingers. We have them in the palm. But there's no muscles in the fingers, just tendons and ligaments and bones. So let's make it a little more interesting, a little more relevant. And I want you to follow me. We're going to make our wrist straight. So our wrist is going to be straight. And so as you can imagine, your extensors connect here, right, extensors. And your flexors connect on the palm side or, vo or volar side. Flexors. So what I'm about to describe is also known as tenodesis, and this is something that's helpful for not just hand therapists, but therapists in general that are working with a neurological patient who no longer has their ability to use their fingers, but can use their wrist or have intact wrist extension. So speaking of wrist extension, let's, I want you to follow me. From neutral, bring your wrist back and extend your wrist and just kind of let your fingers relax and if you'll notice your fingers actually start to curl or start to flex without you kind of trying I mean you could straighten them out but naturally your fingers just want to bend so let's look at the extensors now from here the extensors are all the way back here and the flexors are all the way out here. So the extensors are on slack and the flexors are getting pulled. And so of course, when you're pulling it out, it's gonna try to pull back. And so you have this flexion motion here because you have this long line of tension going on versus the extensors, they're kind of shortened, so they're not really pulling much. I mean, they're pulling your, your wrist, your fingers kind of neutral, but that's just kind of a passive motion, unless you had an injury. The other, let's look at, take another look at this. So now go ahead and put your wrist forward. So you are now flexing your wrist, and if you'll notice, your hands, actually, your fingers straighten out. 
So again, let's look at the extensors and the flexors. Now the extensors are all the way back here, and the flexors are down here. So the total opposite just happened. Now you have relaxed flexors and taut extensors. And that's why you have your fingers straightening out. So this is kind of basic biomechanics, but tendons are really important for hand therapy because it allows us to have active range of motion. And so if we don't really get this, get this topic well understood, it's kind of not good, I guess. <laughs> so there we have it, tendon excursion. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, send me a message. Again, my name is Judy, and I'm just having fun with pan therapy.